Hi everyone, how Hello. are you guys doing? So this is us, uh, my name is Hernan and I'm a game designer for Space Lords and this one over here is Juan. Yeah, Juan and I'm a game designer as well. So yeah, the two of us will be uh, showcasing the different features of the uh, of a Space Lords uh, Master of Puppets update. So let's begin, shall we? So we'll, we'll begin by the first one that we are showcasing to you guys. It's the new tutorial and this is, yeah, launch it. Yeah, let's go for it. So the new tutorial is what uh, uh, newcomers to the game will see right uh, when they start the game. So yeah, let's give it a, uh, some play over here. Welcome to the Broken Planet, cadets. I'm going to teach you the basics of combat in our war against the human invaders. I'm bored. That's easy to fix. Come on, show us what you've got. Please go ahead. Yeah, I'll be playing this one. So here we are with the basic movement tutorial. And I am the tutorial you must play with Alicia, which is like a really action packed kind of character. Yeah, um, uh, obviously veteran players will not be that thrilled about having a tutorial, but uh, it was uh, something that we needed and part of the initial experience that new players will have. And, um, well, new players will be better prepared so when you find one of them, so they'll be slightly more comfortable with, it, uh, with the controls. And also we show a little bit more of the planet right now, right? So. Beautiful views. Yeah, it's a beautiful views and some really frantic combat that we have to complete in order to finish the tutorial. Here are the basic melee con controls and such. So I gotta finish these guys up so we can go to the next step. Alicia's out of ammo! Crusher! That's right, I'm out of ammo. Take it easy. So as you, can, as, you can, as you guys can see, it's a really short combat tutorial Stop and around, here we're going into something new that's over. new within the uh, Master of Puppets update. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about it uh, extensively in the uh, next game of play. But we have other gems uh, in this scenario. Right? That's the thing, yeah. All around the map. It's all of them uh, uh, growing out from the uh, undergrounds of the broken planet. So here's like the basic tutorial for the uh, for the use of all of them. We have this priest, so this is really basic stuff for all of you Space Lords uh, players yeah. out there, but yeah. But well, the new all of them, they behave yeah, uh, this thing over like here, this natural deposit, that's that's totally new. But yeah, we'll showcase it in a, in a few minutes. As you can see, Aleph reacts poorly with bullets, but the explosion will only damage the enemies of whoever shot it. One last piece of advice. If you aren't going to use the Aleph to complete the mission, you can always drop it wherever you want and make it explode by shooting it. Well done, cadet. Now you can go off on your first mission, or stay here to train for as long as you like. I'll see you when you finish. So that was pretty much it. Here you can stay for a while if you want, in order to, uh, you know, to try the new controls that you learned with, you know, these hordes of enemies, but I think we are pretty much done, right? Shall we go to the next feature then? Yep. We're gonna play a game, but before we do that, there's a, there's lots of things that I have changed with this patch and uh, on the patch notes. But something important that we can go through right now is uh, there's been a big change in how uh, missions are unlocked. Ah, oh, that's right. Uh, missions used to take up to 97 levels, I think, to to unlock. So um, players would have a long trip uh, along. Um, uh, before they could enter every mission, we've halved the number of levels that it takes to play the whole, um, the, all the missions in the game. So the last mission in the game takes only level 47 now. 
Uh, we expect uh, players to have more choice when they play, uh, the progression to film much faster and also to fill up the, the queues much more nicely because mm. they will have more uh, missions available. Um, so that's a change that uh, I think uh, everyone will appreciate quite a lot. And we've also increased the level requirement for the antagonist, for playing as the antagonist. It was at level 10. One of the big things in, the, in this update is uh, the new antagonist communicator system. And what we felt with level 10, new players could actually be more prepared for the antagonist mode. And also we've increased, increased the complexity. So we think uh, limiting it to a level 15 and above will actually make the, the entry into the antagonist world uh, uh, much Eaten. Like smoother, right? Yeah. Because you are more it's experienced and you know, yeah. Tangany's mode is kind of rough and also now it has grown deeper and more complex because of the new order systems. Now you can give order to orders to your a AI allies. So yeah. we'll be showcasing this in a few minutes too. So that said, you know, should we get into a match and showcase the yeah. whole new Aleph Deposits thing? That's Shall cool. we? Let's go then. Okay, so here we are. This is our match here. We're playing with the Schneider. So you play first, John. Valeria, do you know where you are? <coughs> I'm not sure. A minute ago I was at home. I know you. You're Constantine. You're helping my father prepare for the expedition to the Broken Planet. Duh. That's right. We are in your house, anesthetized and connected to... simulation. If you are uncomfortable, I make them wake us. No, I'm fine. I like virtual reality. Your father wants you to understand enemy. So, we use simulation to practice infiltrate resistance. Who are they? She's not gonna buy it. She's a clever bitch. Yes, but Constantine has erased her memory. The last thing she remembers is that she was in her house. So, we see plan? An... Uh, anonymous source has confirmed that the Fifth Council is searching for the three protectors. To do so, they have built a machine capable of locating and reading the mind of any living creature on the planet. They call it Nimrod. It's just a matter of time before all our thoughts are transmitted to that monster. Yes. Uh, I mean, shit. Council used Nimrod to locate protectors and force them to invoke legacy of ancient world and its powerful technology. Which they will use to evolve their war machine to a level that you can't even imagine. Our world already paid that price long ago. We can't let it happen again. We believe facility houses Nimrod. We use captured Council shuttle to infiltrate. And we blow up with portable Aleph fusion reactors. Let's go, Raiders. Starting white noise right now, and yeah, as you can see over there, you know, an Aleph gem emerged from this uh, high place in the in the level. So in map, sorry. So this is what uh, Aleph deposits are about. You know, from time to time, in some uh, places of the level of the map, sorry, <laughs> of the, of the map, like this um, kind of Aleph vapor starts to rise from the ground up so and from the ground so 
uh, in a matter of seconds an aleph, an aleph gem will appear. Uh, these gems that come from uh, natural deposits uh, they have a longer time to live. They live around, you know, like one minute or so be before they vanish. So it's not like you're in a hurry to pick them, but you, you can see them on the on the scenario and, and it really changes the flow and the pace and the way you look at the different, you know, like platforms or parapets like that. Here we can see Juan, you know, uh, making his climb up to the top in order to get that, that gem. You know, so it's, it kind of changes the dynamics like that. And another major difference that uh, this, uh, this new feature brings is that, you know, whenever, uh, from now on, whenever you kill an elite, unless the elite had uh, picked a gem before, uh, they won't, you know, no gem will spawn because of the death of the elite. So now your main source of Aleph gems, of Aleph uh, super bo uh, boosts, they are mainly the Aleph gems that emerge from Aleph deposits scattered all around the, the scenario. So that's a really, as you can already guess, it's a really game changer because, you know, uh, on one hand, you, you can, uh, from now on, you can eliminate elites without feeling guilty at all. Like you can really kill them from far away. As long as they don't have an Aleph gem, you know, within their body, you know you can kill them without losing any resource, but on the other hand, you must explore and, and you know, and get into the every nook and cranny of each scenario, which actually, you know, this didn't happen before. So, yeah. John, can, can you give me the control yeah. so I'll keep playing from now on? Sure. Um, Thank you. Well, so, um, this... Uh, the new, the new Aleph Gems uh, have really um, changed the way we uh, we look at, at, at each mission. Uh, every mission is different from one, right? So um, there's plenty of uh, new stuff to see and new ways to play every 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 mission because I'll have like um, a fist full of sand. Uh, maybe uh, we don't have the Aleph deposits. Uh, actually, the the Hades snipers spawn with plenty of, of Aleph still, so you'll still have to chase snipers around, but they're not... Oh, it's close now. Ah! Yeah. Just taking risks. Mm. So well, yeah. all missions have been, like, It's like remade, each, right? each mission has been uh, remade or adapted in yeah. order to, uh, you know, accommodate these changes. So, yeah, each mission will feel different right now. And in some of the missions, as you said, you still have to you know, search for the elites that are now spawning with uh, loads of uh, Aleph gems and go hunting, you know. Yeah, so for example, with this mission, White Noise, we've changed this, the phase of the mission because it actually had a really interesting layout with lots of cover, lots of high points uh, that you didn't always really need to explore because usually standing at a high point with no cover is kind of dangerous. So with this really interesting uh, uh, gem placements, you have to um, play the game so differently, right? And mobility skills and mobility uh, raiders, characters with high mobility, uh, have a whole different role right now. Mm. And and so I, I think that's a really exciting thing to we'll see in the future, and we'll have to uh, balance it out and see how it goes. Okay, thank you. My drone is back. Uh. Um, and you play Snyder. You're playing Snyder because we wanted to look at that character. Um, one of the uh, we've done some character balancing for this patch, and something interesting that we've done is that some characters kind of had hit a, a limit or, or a barrier where where they could they were hard to balance. For example, Snyder is supposed to be a hard hitting monster. He has a, a drone with heavy weapons and. Snyder is already a very powerful character and uh, he still had lots of uh, health because he's a Hades division so he has, uh, he's a good in melee. Um, so there was like a limit to how powerful the drone could be if he was still a high health character. So what we've done is, uh, while using the drone, uh, now uh, Snyder's strength is weakened and so his uh, maximum HP is half while the drone is deployed. That means there's more risk to using the drone, 
there's another um, uh, stat that you have to control mm -hmm. and that you have to uh, play through this uh, limitation of how much health do I want to have at the moment. So maybe you want to get uh, retrieve the drone before uh, fighting in melee. And, and that will actually uh, picture uh, Schneider more, more as a glass cannon, a really hard kitting character with a weakness. And we hope that with this change we'll be able to balance Schneider much nicely and actually uh, in the future make uh, his drone as powerful as it needs to be. Schneider is definitely a uh, boss or a killer or a high HP uh, enemy killer. That's right. I, I oh. the sound is way worse for me. <laughs> it's really nasty. Yeah. And it's a guy with a long bear. But the guy doesn't look that bad though. He's I wish I had that, that kind he's of He's AIDS. Like, he's AIDS a lot. Um, that must be why he's so wise. I guess he's wise, I don't know. How he, is he looks huge brain? Yeah, the brain. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's a wise man's brain for sure. Yeah. So yeah, what I, I really like the change on Snyder though, because I, I feel so exposed and so fragile whenever I have my drone deployed. So it's a different, it's like two modes, you know, like two different modes. Yeah. Attack mode, it's fragile mode too. And now I have to keep changing like this. So. Well, there's all the characters that we've tweaked around. Uh, Rack. For example, it's currently a, a very strong character that we don't want to have to nerf. Uh, uh, whose weapons we don't really want to, to to power down. And so we've cut back on a strategy that was trivial and, and interesting. And that was deploying uh, Pisachas like on top of your enemy while you're fighting. Um, right now, uh, for, uh, the, with this new patch, uh, Pisachas have a minimum range. So, uh, Pisachas are meant to be something that you use when you want to assault someone who's far away, uh, someone who's weak, someone who's exposed. You release the Pisachas, use the extra speed, and you hunt them like the hunter you are. Um, but really, fighting someone in melee because you've been surprised and then just dropping the Pisachas on them and having the extra health and so on, that just made, that just gave the, the character a lot of uninteresting power. Right? Mm -hmm. So again, with this limitation, we expect uh, to to see Rack uh, with less trivial power and more uh, power that you have to actually play around, and we'll see we'll see how it evolves. Okay, where is it? Ah, it's over there. Yeah, Snyder is not the best character for breaking those mines, right? Uh, it's definitely not. Alish is probably the best, right? But that wasn't on purpose, though. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I, it wasn't my intention to, <laughs> to get damaged, so... Okay, but I have the Aleph, though. I'm a really good Aleph Harvester. So this is the boss it working on here. I think we got it. I think we got this. Oh, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. I'm in trouble now. <laughs> I'm in trouble. Okay. That wasn't too bad. Ah. Oh. Surprise. <laughs> I didn't see that guy coming. Okay. So we need more Aleph. Where's my Aleph gear? Here's my Aleph. The mines do take like a new meaning, <sighs> right? So yeah. there was like no <laughs> enemy on screen and it's still... <laughs> still a pain in the ass. <laughs> ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I, well, at least I got the gem, but mm, I think I may you? be dying. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I totally wasted that Aleph gem. I like that. I like how it felt like a fortress that you had to assault. Yeah. And there were lots of mines and you, even if there was no enemy inside, it was still a challenge. And if you had been using, say, hands or Alicia, it would have been trivial. Oh right? yeah, <laughs> it would be way easier. 
So yeah, let me get this one so that I redeem myself. Ah, ah that's fine. That was right. Okay. I think I may have to break this thing. Ah. Yeah, come on. I'm Friendly fire. <laughs> you know, the drone. It's one of the things that makes, uh, that, that should help making uh, Schneider feel like a glass cannon. The fact that you can hurt yourself. Yeah, and that's totally right. Every damage your weapons, right? So it's like, have to treat the weapon with caution. It's a dangerous weapon to use, and that's why it's important. So yeah, I, okay, here we are. Oh, that's Alicia grabbing the gems for you. Okay. No, I. We could comment on Guzman. Sure. Uh, Guzman is another character that we've just not just balanced the character with the you know, power differences and making the weapons more powerful. Uh, instead, what we found with Guzman is that we think it can be a richer character. So the character can sometimes feel a little bit flat with not that many options to use. So what we, we've done a couple things. First off, we've... Okay. Good. Um, what we've done is we've sped up the speed in which uh, the, the ground points, the, and, uh, the, the, the speed at which uh, he lays the, the electric traps. Uh, the punch is much faster and also the time it takes to load up a big, uh, long-lasting trap is much faster. So you would, you'll feel much more agile with Kuzma when you want to actually deploy and... <laughs> uh, this good is enough. suspense that's right that's here. Good enough. It's good <laughs> enough. Suspenseful. Good. Okay, okay, yeah. that was pretty good, actually. Yeah. You should try to avoid that. I, sh I yeah. should definitely try to avoid it, but... Yeah. <laughs> Nah, and so you, you'll, you'll be more comfortable laying traps with Kuzman and all of his weapons. I think all except the uh, except for one. Uh, they don't do full damage on the first second. So on the first second, they kind of speed up. So the damage is like a little, a little lower and then it, it speeds up to the maximum speed like one uh, second after five. Mm -hmm. And that's because Kuzman could... Uh, not snipe people, but doing full damage from the first first uh, impact w didn't make the weapon feel like a, a ray of death, an electric ray of death. So right now there's a little bit of ramp that should help uh, with the filling of the weapon. Okay, that's right. So we won, by the way. Go, go I know you didn't, you didn't have any faith in me and made it. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> devs play their own game, they should win, right? I thought I was the best in this match. What happened? This is this is a bug right here. You died a lot. <laughs> We're gonna showcase the antagonist order system, right? That's um, totally right. Everyone was asking for it for a long time. Uh, we've finally implemented it and, and I made it in a way that I think is the most interesting one. We, I think this uh, we're really giving the antagonist a new dimension. It's also mm -hmm. a very tactical dimension that doesn't always rely on killing or you know kill or be killed or, or it's it's not that high action. It's more uh, something that you have to think through. You can use those others anytime. You so it there's a whole lot new uh, lot of things lot of things that can be done within a system. Yeah, it really widens the range of options that you have while playing as an antagonist and it takes away a bit of the frantic action and it lets you, optionally, but it lets you think, uh, you know, your uh, your strategy more carefully, you know. So yeah, let's show it now. After the cutscenes, we'll get into it. 
which our ancestors folded space time in order that I have? Okay, we have fishing mode right yeah. now. Okay. We can return the humans back to their planet in the blink of an eye. Shay saw these protective symbols around this location. The community there was trying to flee the fighting, but were captured by the Hades division. I could do nothing to help them, but I'm sure they've taken them to the Sargon mines. If Urugal, the second protector, is still alive, that's where he'll be. In which case, there's no time to lose. Let's go. them hard, my young apprentice. We will. Alert! We are under attack! Splendid. They've been detected. That's good for us. Okay, we're almost there. Hang on to whatever you can. Whoa, that pilot's really good. Okay, so Come here, on, kid. here we are uh, playing with Fistful of Sun as the antagonist. Here is our evil presence in the map. And, you know, this is the new antagonist communication system or the order system. And this is how I can give orders to my, to my uh, fellow acolytes, you know. So, I can say something like, follow me. And I checked it three times, you know. And if you see in the upper left part of the hut, there's like three guys now that are you know following my order so as i keep moving even now that i still haven't spawned you know they keep following me just like that i, I just spawn right yeah, now i i totally killed them but you know yeah and help those guys I'm, you can all, all also bring them to their death and totally just, totally if you're a sadistic yeah. guy or something like that so yeah so the thing is that i can also send orders like for instance pick me here or no a man he has like way too many all of overload. So I'm sending all my troops to get this guy. Ah. Ah, here I come. Here are my fellow. Ah. I got gotcha. you. So yeah, let me think it. Yeah. So you can just chase them, right? Yeah, here we have like three guys and chasing Ernan, and we can see them like with the attacking, this attacking text over here, so that you know you can tell which ones are the ones who are obeying you at, at every moment. And you know, the other got completed, so it's like they are free so to uh, accept orders, you know, once again. And I could, uh, I could also have cancelled the order, you know, if I if I change my mind or something, and I can send like one guy over this radar and two guys over the other guy, so... It's so let's like try this. something, let's try a strategy. Sure. Open up the menu. Let's... Oh, he's dead already. These guys are way too good. Yeah, because one thing that you can do is you can tell them to protect a position, so we can try to protect the engineers like that, whenever they get into one of the terminals. And also, if they find the protector later on, we can send all of our troops, you know, to get him. So yeah, let ah, let's see where, where that guy goes. Okay, right here. Maybe it's over here. So defend my position. So three guys should come here right now, in order hold to defend the position. the position. So now we are holding the position like this, and you know, making things way more difficult for the raiders, you know. Just got lucky. Oh, come on. How about that still? So even though I'm dead, the order is still, you know, mm. they are still obeying the order. So they're still keeping their positions. Now I'm saying, I'm canceling this. I'm saying, follow me. So I want to bring, you know, all my troops to get, you know, one, I don't know, maybe, well, not one of the raiders because I could just send them like this. Let me cancel this one again. Big B, I really wanted to take revenge on him. He just used uh, his uh, hive's uh, power, so... So, yeah. There's this guy. There's this big guy. So, oh, he's, he's over there, okay. So, yeah, let's send more guys to get him, and I will help my fellow Grants here. You can also here. use Doldren's power, right? 
Oh, of course. Yeah, sorry, I'm I can totally <laughs> actually, I, I, Sorry, I, 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 as long as I keep speaking, I, I forget about stuff. Sorry. So yeah. Gotcha. Ah, good. Two versus one. So what about Doldren? We we have something to say about him too, right? Yeah. Um, patient boy. We're using patient boy. It's one of the rare weapons that wasn't quite rare enough for us. And we've given it a twist. Um, maybe you can try it. Um, when you deploy a grenade, you can transform into spirit form. And being near the grenade actually fills your spirit, uh, the, the respawn bar, and you can respawn. So Patient Boy adds a whole new layer of functionality to Doldren. You can use it to escape, you can use it to go to places that you could not always reach with your spirit form because there was no enemy there. Uh, as long as you can shoot there, you can teleport there. Okay, so this was the uh, antagonist comp system in action. We could only try double thing, just top of the of the iceberg of the many things that you can do with this new system. There's uh, on every on every different mission. There's specific orders to each mission, and so the amount of combination and strategies that you can come up with are huge. We found the really uh, shown a couple and and then we've got a little gift for everyone right that's right uh, with this now a new update coming up there's also something new that we want to show you uh, in the store menu uh, in the top right uh, hand corner you'll see a little key button uh, we have a promotional code system now this is really something that that we really need it. It's uh, with this new system, we'll be able to support content creators and YouTubers and people giving uh, the giveaways that people uh, can do are going to be so much more interesting because uh, yeah, with this system, we can just distribute all kinds of uh, of things in the different social networks. And with the release of the new patch in celebration for that, we have a, a promotional code for everyone. It's Master of Puppets. Uh, you have to uh, introduce that in, uh, in the game and you'll receive some things. Uh, the code expires on August 12th. Yeah. So let's go redeem it. Yeah, let's go redeem it as fast as you can so you can get all the goodies from the Master of Puppets update. Uh, I think that's all. Uh, thank you. I think we're done. And goodbye. See you all.